Hi, it's David here from DP Computing. Uh, today we've got a Samsung Galaxy S3 which we're going to open up and have a look inside and tear down and try and get to some of the um, bits and pieces inside so you can have a look. Um, now, word of warning, um, follow these steps at your own risk. You may damage or even um, totally stuff up your phone and void your warranty. This phone itself has been through a washing machine so it's actually dead so um, if anything if I damage anything in this video or anything it doesn't matter but if you damage it you could stuff up your entire phone so just be careful there. Now the first thing we have to do is remove this back panel that's fairly simple at the top of the um, phone there's a little finger or fingernail hole just get your finger in there and pull it apart and as you can see um, there we have the battery the um, sim card reader and the micro ss micro ssd and now we've got 10 screws so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so before we move the screws just remove the battery so again there's a little um, finger hole just pull, pull it up and out it comes. Now we'll start to remove the 10 screws. This will take a little bit, so please bear with me while I do that. Um, the screws are just normal Phillips head screws, but they're very tiny, so watch where you put them so you don't lose them. Um, as this is going to take a bit of time, I've had a few questions that people have asked me in my other videos just whereabouts I'm located. I'm actually in Adelaide in South Australia and the weather here currently is fairly crap today. Um, it's just very rainy and cold. Um, so that's why I'm inside doing teardown videos. Now, um, what was I going to say? I've forgotten now. Uh, just be careful when you remove these screws uh, that you don't thread the actual head. Um, that's why I'm not using an electric screwdriver because they're very small and very easy to damage. And this one's been a pain and doesn't want to come out. So, I'll just grab. I'll just leave that one for the moment. Work on all the others. This is the most boring part of the video. Um, I'll tell you as well in the video or in the annotations to skip to the bit where I've removed all the screws. So just skip to there unless you want to hear me ramble on. Nearly all done here. As you can see, as we're removing the screws, the back panel itself wants to come out. So I think what we can do um, is, yep, pull it, pull it straight off, as you can see there. That's the underside of the panel. So once all the screws are removed, that'll come off. If you're having trouble with it, you may need to get a um, flathead screwdriver or a plastic um, splodger just in. Probably best to get a plastic one so you don't do any damage to anything you get on when you're pushing it under. So once that's off, we can see a bit more of the ins insides. But we've also still got this top bit here, which we need to get off. And there's one screw that's been the pain. I think that's it now. So that's out. So once that screws out, you'll need to um, just, there's a little connector here which you'll also have to disconnect. So just get your little plastic thing under and pull it up and then disconnect it. Now once that's disconnected, you should be able to again get something underneath the white plastic bit and just move around and, um, and it comes all unplugged. So there's that little bit. 
And now we see that you've got the main board. The main board is then held in by one more screw, which is a black screw, which is just down here. So if we remove that screw, And there's also, uh, it's probably either the phone antenna or the Wi-Fi antenna, which has just got a little connection there. So just carefully remove that. There we are. And the motherboard itself should pull off. Oh, it won't actually pull off because there's a couple more little ribbon cables we have to disconnect. There's one here. There's another one here. And I think this is the last one just there. So once they're all removed, the actual main board will, will come out. There's also the camera, that'll come out with it. And if you tip it over, you'll see a connector for the camera um, just here. Okay, that's the connector for the camera. So again, we just get something underneath that and up it pops and the rear facing camera gets removed. Now that's the side you were seeing before with the SIM and SD card readers there. And the underside, just probably try and get some more light in here. How's that? Um, underside we've got the main Exynos chip, which is the main CPU chip in there. So we've got the power connector. As you can see the power connector's got a bit of gr grungy stuff on there from probably being having a swim. So that's the main board, and there underneath the main board, uh, we've got the other bits and pieces of the actual unit. 